So what's wrong with the Section 8 program? My name is Steve Welty. I'm the CEO of Good Life Property Management. Our mission is to make owning rental property easy. All right, so for those of you who aren't familiar, the Section 8 program is a federal housing assistance initiative that is administered by HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development. It helps low-income individuals and families afford safe and decent housing in the private market. So eligible participants receive vouchers that subsidize 70% of the monthly rent. So the person pays 30% of the rent and the housing assistance program pays 70. The subsidy goes directly to the landlord and in California, about 300,000 people currently have these vouchers. All right, to qualify, the applicants must be US citizens or legal residents earning no more than 50% of the median income in their area. So currently, that would be $58,400 in San Diego County and $63,900 in Orange County. But here's the thing, three fourths of the vouchers are reserved for households earning even less, like $29,250 for a family of four in Orange County. So what's wrong with the Section 8 program? Basically two things. Number one is wait times. So in Orange County alone, about 87,000 families are on waiting lists, often of six to 10 years. So it just takes too long to get the people that need help, help. Number two is the incentive structure. So Charlie Munger, who is Warren Buffett's right-hand man, famously said, show me the incentive and I will show you the outcome. One of the problems with the Section 8 program is people are incentivized to stay on the program because if they make too much income, they get kicked off the program. And yes, there's definitely people that need lifetime assistance, but for a lot of people, they stay you know, below the income requirement so that they can stay on the program and who could blame them? I think the incentive structure should be to help people that can move off of Section 8. Maybe there's like a time limit, like you only can get funds for so many years or once you get off, you get a big tax credit for, you know, two or three years to help you get back on your feet. Sure, there will always be people who need a lifetime of support, but a lot can help themselves and improve their own situation, which will then free up a lot of money for other people who need it. Remember those people that can make up to 50% of the median income? There's a lot of people that could be helped with rental assistance programs just like this if we fixed the system, freed up more funds, and funded the program. Fixing the incentive structure would free up more money in the program and allow wait times to be reduced so that we could help more people. You know, our elected officials, it seems like a lot of them are focused on rent control and how the cost of housing is too high. Sean Elo Rivera, the San Diego City Council president, it's like his number one issue is to bring down the cost of housing. Okay, well, I don't know of a good way to do that without destroying the health of the rental market and having a ton of unintended negative consequences. So government officials, if you really wanna help renters, fix existing rental assistance programs. Because burdening landlords with more rent control only makes the problem worse. It makes the market more unhealthy. So let's fix and fund existing programs. What do you think about this video? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I respond to everyone. Thanks for watching.